When we talk about the Asia Pacific region, I'm not doing, going to talk about a country because I'm not going to speak about France here, or I'm not going to speak about my wife's country, Indonesia, because many people know better. But if you talk of the Asia Pacific region, this is not a region for where average means many. It's a region of superlatives and, and a region of many contrasts. You have the highest mountain peaks in the Asia Pacific region, but you also have some of the countries that have less than five meters above sea level. You have three of the most populated countries of the world, and you have the smallest country with New Way, which is 1,600 people, which is about the number of participants in this, in this meeting. You have a lot of rainforest, but the 26 person average range from 17 person in Southeast Asia to 60 or 75 person in Brunei or Papua New Guinea. At the same time, and although rainforests are very important, Asia Pacific region is home to very, very endangered, threatened, and ultimately important dry forest. And, and one of the, the main organizers of this, this conference, Australia, is the driest continent on Earth. So they do have a lot of, rain, of dry forests. All these countries, all these people with all their difference, I think are all going together for one reason, because forests matter. And forests matter for C4 also. C4 is a center for international forest research that's been created in 1993. It's headquartered in Indonesia, in Bogor. Uh, and our aim since we have been created in 1993 uh, is really about breaking the, the old uh, conception about forestry and expanding forestry beyond what is considered as classical in our world. And that's why we, we have considered elements like what are the underlying causes of deforestation. We are involved in the first uh, system for certification of forestry, developing cutter and indicator. Uh, in 2016, we developed a new strategy uh, because we thought that following the 2015 Paris Agenda and 2015 Declaration of the Sustainable Development Goal, we had to adapt our strategy and show that forest and forestry would contribute to the 17 SDGs and not simply the SDG 15 life on land. And fr from that, we have continued working uh, and we developed the largest integrated research program on forestry and agroforestry uh, with partners from ICRAF and, and other international and national organizations. And our purpose is to make sure and to ensure that forest and forestry contribute to the sustainable development goal as they should, and that they improve the livelihood of local people, they improve the economic uh, returns of forests, but at the same time protect diversity and the environment. I could speak for hours about forest and forestry. I mean, I've been involved in, with that for more than 37 years now. But in terms of the Maybe some entry points where people don't look really sort of. Forests are very important for food security and nutrition. Uh, our research in Indonesia showed that among various land use types, the people that have the more, most diverse diet are the people that live in where they have the most diverse forests and agroforestries. Uh, forests matter for agriculture. Uh, there is a significant effect of having a forest near an oil palm or, or maize plantation in terms of yield because of the natural pest control exerted by forest. Forest matter also in terms of climate change, not simply because of uh, there are carbon stock, they, do, they are carbon stock, but also they have a significant effect in cooling the atmosphere, they have a significant effect in creating rains in places that are far away from where they are, creating rivers in the skies. And what is happening when you deforest in a place like Indonesia has an impact as far as China and Beijing in terms of the de amount of deposit of seal that is happening. Uh, and there is one ecosystem uh, which has been close to my heart for a long time that encompass all the issues you can think about forest. It's a peatland and mangroves. And peatland and mangroves, although they represent a small percentage of the world forest, are probably 
the richest and the most carbon rich ecosystem in the world and also the most threatened. And I think I, I can only encourage and uh, commend Indonesia for all the efforts that Indonesia is currently doing in terms of restoring and rehabilitating peatland and working on mangroves. And my last word will be that C4 is a research capacity development and communication organization. We are not big. We are working with many partners and we are willing to work with anybody in this room for whom forests matter. Thank you.